hello programmers welcome back to another session in this session we are going to see how an atm software works this session will be in this complete project will be in different different parts so let's say our first part will be the algorithm we will design an algorithm like the working process step by step how it is what it is what to do and all after that we will change the stuff we will write we will go into the programming we will see step wise how to program how to code it so let's start our algorithm so what will be our first step as soon as we go into an atm what do we see we do we see a welcome note saying welcome to so and so bank let it be any bank it will be we will see a welcome note so our first agenda will be to print a welcome note okay what will be the next one next one we will be giving a card then we will be entering our pin number okay so this is a virtual project so there is no card nothing so let us assume our next step will be giving input as the card number okay so next step will be take pin number as input i am using the ideal here just to simply code or to write the algorithm so it will show some colors don't mind it and what will be the next thing next thing is we will see a startup menu what was the startup menu what do we have in that startup menu so let's say our startup menu will consider check the balance next thing will be if you want to withdraw it or not and the next thing uh, will be deposit let us consider we are doing a deposit machine kind of a thing and uh, we can even check our account details in this so let's say account details and the last one will be quit or exit yes my work is done here i want to exit so these are the first things that we going to concentrate so if you see properly we have a check balance withdrawal deposit account details and we have to quit this is what we want our atm simply consists only this much okay so if you want to check the balance what should we do the first question is then for withdrawal next what should we do okay for checking the balance simply if we have the balance variable and some balance saved in it we can say that yes the balance is been saved right so the next thing we want to do is after checking the balance let's say i want to give another option like after checking the balance i want to withdraw so again i need to say what i want to do so i'll say again i want to print out the start menu to simply say all the features i have so i need to have the withdrawal deposit account details all this i want again so i am printing it again i am printing the start menu again so this is done over here right so next go to the withdrawal menu so in withdrawal menu basically what are things we should have first thing we should know if the balance is there or not once is the balance is there there should be no negative amounting but we will see that later withdrawal means simply telling the balance how much ever we are having and we are withdrawing some cash and it should be saved in the balance so just simply to print the remaining balance and then in the next step we will ask the user whether you have to check the balance or not simply we are checking the balance again and again we are asking the start menu if you wants to do anything else only thing is every time we do it in a real atm it will ask to enter the pin again uh, all these things but uh, we made it simple we don't want it to ask the pin and all again we know we have some security issues with that but it's okay so if you deposit what will happen deposit whatever the balance we are having and whatever the deposit money we are giving both will be saved into deposit after that we will check the balance and we will again print out the start menu 
just to ask the user if you want anything and in the account details we'll simply say display all details it will simply say display all details after this is done what is happening the quit statement quit statement we are not giving anything if you if the user calls the quit function what it happens it will simply pass it everything and it will exit the program so this will be our functions what are things we can do in an atm all these things are the things we we normally we can do in an atm okay let us say we will check the conditions now what are what are all the type of conditions we see in an atm we'll take the pin after taking the pin if it is wrong what should we do if it is wrong what should we do next after we take the pin if it is wrong what should we do how many times it is wrong number of times number of times and we will limit that number of times to three times so it is saying that user can check or re-enter the pin for three times after three times what it has to do we will write in the program okay after this is done we take a pin we take an input we check it whether it is true false everything so length of the pin we normally know that the length of the pin is four digits what if the user enters less or misplaces by clicking an another key he enters as five digits what should it say so this is basically what we can do with the pin entering if the pin is true it will simply go to the start menu it will do all that stuff what it has to do but if it is wrong what is the thing it has to do so that is what after all this we can simply say that all this part is over and the last one is a thank you note we can't simply send our customer after all this much without a thank you note he is using our whatever system we are having so this is basically the algorithm which is going inside an atm there may if you compare it with a real atm it is not much difference when it's, it all started now we are having all this uh, mini statements all this kind of a stuff but at the starting the most we had is we can check the balance withdrawal or deposit whatever it is and we can simply say thank you and come off from the atm so this is what it was at the beginning so i'll take that as a basic example and i'll start programming an atm so this is the algorithm or this is the stepwise manner we have to do so i'll end up this for this session uh, what i'll do is i'll start programming all this stuff in the next session and so we'll see you all you people in the next session thank you all for all your subscriptions likes comments or views or whatever it pays less i will tell you but thank you for it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like share and comment thank you very much